So in this video, we're going to be allowing users to create posts. So before we can do that, we need to create a new table in our database. So here I am in the database and I'm going to create a new table and it's going to be called posts. Every post is going to have a body and that is going to be a varchar and we're going to limit it to 160 characters, just like Twitter limits tweets to 140. We're not going to let it be null and we're going to say posted at and it's going to be a date time. We don't want that to be null either. We're going to have a user underscore ID. That's going to be an integer and it's not going to be null and it's going to be unsigned. We're going to have a number of likes and that's going to be an integer. Again, unsigned and it's not going to be null. And that should be everything we need for this part. We're also going to create a relationship between the user ID in the posts table and the user ID in the users table. And we're going to do that by going to relations, clicking add, we're not going to give it a name. We're going to link the user ID column in the table posts to the table users and the ID column. And we're going to click add. So that's our table created. And now we need to create a form on the profile page. So back on the profile page, we're going to go down and we're going to create a form. And we're going to go see what this looks like. So it doesn't look particularly wonderful, but we're not worried about the design in this video. We're only worried about the actual back end PHP code. And what we want to do is grab what the user types and send it to our database. So what we'll do in here is create an if statement. And we will check if the post button has been clicked. And if it's been clicked, we're going to create some values. So now we have the post body and we have the user ID, we're going to insert them into the database. So what this query does is it creates a new post in the posts table. It gets the post body and the user ID and the now function gets the current date and time using SQL and zero is the default number of likes. So we're not going to do any validation at the minute. We're just going to test if this works. And of course we need to use backslashes here. So we're just going to send a quick post. We're going to click post. We get no output, but if we go to our database, you can see we have one post from the user with the ID of one because that's who I'm logged in as. And the post says hello world and it has zero likes and it tells us the date and time that it was posted at. So we haven't done any validation on our post yet and we don't need to worry about SQL injection, but we want to check it's the right length. So here what we're doing is we're checking if the post body length is greater than 160 and we're also checking if it's less than one. And if it is, we'll say die incorrect length. And that should be all we need to check because before we output any text from the database, we're going to use a special function called HTML special chars. And we're going to use that before we output any data. So we'll just test this. We'll try and submit the form and leave the text box empty. You can see it says incorrect length. And then if I click post now, it also says incorrect length. So now that we've been able to post the data into the database, we need to be able to display it. So down on the profile page below the form, what we're going to do is create a div and we'll call it posts. And then in here, what we'll do is we'll say PHP echo posts and that'll echo out all of our posts. And then up here, what we want to do is create our posts. We'll say DB posts is equal to a DB query. And we want to use user ID because user ID is the ID of the user whose profile page we're on. So DB post is equal to that. DB posts will then be equal to an array. And then what we'll say is loop through all of this. We'll say for each DB posts as P. Then we'll say print underscore R P because P itself will also be an array. So now I will refresh. So we have an error in our code. It says posted by is in a column and it's called user ID. So there you can see there are the two posts being printed out and you can see they're also arrays. So what we want to do is print out the post body. So we can do that by saying echo P and we can access the body column from the returned array. And now you can see our two posts have been printed out. So what we want to do is we want to get our posts variable. It's going to be an empty string to begin with. And what we're going to do each time is we'll append on the posts p body. We'll append on a break tag at the end of that. And then what we want to do is actually just append that on with a dot equals. And if we refresh, you can see now we have our two posts being printed out. And we'll append on a horizontal line just under the end of that. And now you can see there are our two posts. If I post something else and I click post, you can see there it shows up. And what we want to do is when we select our posts from the database, we want to say order by ID DESC. 
for descending so we get the newest posts first and there you can see our newest post was first. So before we finish this video what we want to do is tidy up a bug with the follower module and it's where it intermittently allows you to follow people and then other times it'll say you're following them when you're not. And the reason for that is these queries. This query isn't specific enough because our, our work section of the query only checks where user ID equals user ID. So what we want to do is copy this section where we get the follower ID too, so it's more specific. So we'll just copy that, paste it up here, paste it down here as well, and we'll paste it up here as well. And that will be our follower bug finished. So that's it for this video. Don't forget to like, comment, favorite, and subscribe. In the next video, we'll be making it so that you can only post on your own profile page because at the minute you can post on anybody's profile page, no matter who you are. We'll also be doing extra things like letting you like posts. We'll also be letting you like a post. So that's it for this video. Don't forget to like, comment, favorite, and subscribe. Don't forget to follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Reddit. And I'll see you next time.